Okay, let's take a look at some output. There are a few different ways to do that. If I go over to the Model Explorer, I can click on the Tables tab, and you'll notice information pertaining to model definition, analysis results, as well as design data. For design output, I could simply right-click on any one of the topics, and you'll see I can have a table shown, as well as exporting these tables to different types of formats, including Excel and Access. And looking at the composite beam design summary, any one of these tables can be edited, formatted, filtered, or sorted. So the user has complete control into sifting through all of the information that's provided. Next, if I wanted to create a detailed report, I can click on the Reports tab in the Model Explorer. If I right-click on Project Report, I can click on Modify Report, and this gives me all of the options available to the user to create a very specific report. Click on each one of these tabs, selecting all of the items I wish to have included in the report, pertaining to joints, frames, shells. I can get displacements for points, reactions, so that you, as you can see, there's many different options to choose from. Also, for specified load combinations, load patterns, if I wanted to limit the size of the report, I can have it only printed for selected items only for the model. Okay, it just takes a second to generate the report. Okay, so as you can see on the left-hand side is a table of contents. I can simply double-click on any one of the topics to access any portion of the report. If I scroll down here, you can get analysis results, including base reactions, joint reactions, as well as a composite beam design for each one of the beams that were designed specifically. So this is a very powerful tool that allows the user to generate any type of report, whether it be a quick summary report, a very detailed report where you can pick and choose exactly what they want to have included in SAFE version 20.